All right, well, good morning. Uh, Hakeem Barry and the team, where did you disappear to, uh, have uh, gotten us off to a good start. We're going to vaccinate 400 people a day. I had a chance to talk to uh, a number of them. We've got school teachers here. We've got people over 75. We've got people whose uh, good neighbor drove them. Uh, and uh, it's, uh, spirits are very good. We're getting them in and out right now in about 40 minutes. Uh, and tomorrow we're going to go up to 600 and then uh, Friday to 800. Uh, and uh, I think we're feeling really good about where we are. And with that, uh, Hakeem, what would you like to say? Uh, we'll say, I better take my mask off. Uh, I think we had a very good positive start here today. Uh, we've going to average about 50 to 55 an hour. Uh, so our first hour went off uh, pretty smooth. And uh, of course, we're going to make it better as, as you go along. Really happy with how all of our city of Detroit departments came together to make it happen. All right, anybody got any questions? Did you get a chance to talk to some of the folks? Yeah, how do they seem? Happy? Okay. Right. Well, I, I, I do believe this is the beginning of the end. So yesterday, I had my second shot. So in another week, uh, I will go visit my grandkids for the first time since before uh, Thanksgiving. Uh, this is the first step uh, to getting our lives back. Uh, and all the folks that I talk to over there are going to go tell their friends and neighbors how smooth this went uh, and how easy it is. Uh, but we, get, we want our city back, we want our country back, we want our lives back. Uh, and it all depends on the vaccines. And uh, I really am I'm thrilled. Uh, I would encourage people over the age of 75, uh, you're still in your special window period, call today. Uh, the call center has improved tremendously in efficiency. We were down to uh, 17 minutes uh, per appointment yesterday. My guess is it'll be closer to 10 minutes today. And so that will allow us uh, in the next few days to open this up to broader age groups and broader, broader groups. So we started at 75 and over because we were trying not to overwhelm the call center. Uh, now uh, the, uh, uh, what do they call them, Rock Connections? Rock connection. the, the Rock Connection folks with the 75 operators uh, have got this under control and we're going to be ready to ramp back up to, to more and more groups in the coming days. Uh, so we'll lower the age limit, I think, in the next few days. It really is a function of the telephone calls. If we had told everybody over 65, we had more than 100,000 calls on Monday. If we'd have told everybody over 65, we'd have had 250,000 calls on Monday. So our choke point at the moment is the call center. And now that the call center is getting resolved, uh, it'll be fine. If you're calling right now, you'll probably get an appointment in Wednesday or Thursday of next week. Uh, and that's, we're, we're a week or so out. But we are going to schedule all the way through the first week of February. And we're going to have the ability to lower the age limit, I believe, in the next couple of days. Well, it's that's totally a question of how fast the vaccines come from D.C. So all we can do right now is in the city of Detroit, we are going to take every vaccine we get and get it into one of our residents' arms as quickly as possible to protect Detroiters as fast as we can. Uh, and the governor knows well uh, that we're taking 20,000 appointments. I'd love to raise that to 30,000, 40,000, 50,000. So would she. Uh, so it depends on how many uh, vaccines are delivered from the feds. Uh, and we're just going to make sure that we go as fast as the feds are going. Right. So uh, it's, it seems like it's going very smoothly today, but you'll get your appointment. If your appointment is, say, 10 o'clock, uh, you'll come in uh, where Joe Lewis Arena used to be, off of Atwater on the river. You'll be checked in with your ID. Uh, they, you'll be brought down to park uh, somewhere in here in a semi-heated uh, parking structure. Uh, you'll turn off your car. Uh, we will give you paperwork that you, that you fill out. Pre please bring a clipboard or a book to write on. Uh, and then you'll get your shot. After you get your shot, you'll stay 15 minutes. We want to make sure that in, in a very 
a small number of cases, there's a reaction. We want to make sure that you're here where our medical staff is for that first 50 minutes. That's the way it's done across the country. Uh, and so you'll stay 50 minutes, then you'll get your certificate of your vaccine, and you'll drive out. It looks like it's running now about 35, 40 minutes. You'll come back in three weeks, exact same process. You'll get your second shot. In about 10 days or so after your second shot, uh, you've got 95% uh, immunity uh, if you're exposed to COVID. And even the other 5% appears to be very mild cases. So uh, this is the key to getting our lives back. Right, right. So Governor Whitmer was part of the lobbying to release that. It was the right thing to do. Uh, and Hakeem, do you have any more insight into how many are coming when? Uh, not yet. We placed our order on uh, Thursday, so we'll be having that talk to see exactly what's going to come in. Uh, but we hope to at least keep our 4,000 plus next week so that we can continue to vaccinate more. So, right. right, so, well, we're going to order more than that. We've got outreaches to senior centers, to homeless shelters, bus drivers, and the like. But we will book between four and 5,000 people here. Uh, and so as long as we get enough to cover the folks here and to cover the other outreach efforts, uh, sometime tonight we'll figure out what that order is. Uh, and we'll see what they get. The governor's people have been terrific. They'll give us an assessment of what there is. Of course, they've got 83 counties they have to deal with fairly. Uh, and uh, we, right now our focus is get us enough to get through next week. And we'll go from there. All right. Well, thank you. And I hope we expand to all of you relatively soon. Thank you.